You know what? This is already getting disrespectful. No. Put the chin. Just start rolling because I've had it. This is how just, you're mad at both. Just roll. Yeah, I'm mad at both you're mad? of you. I listen in here. Right? Ready? That's yeah. exactly how you do it. Yeah. There you you go, can't. Nick. You have to put the mic on your <laughs> stupid mouth. Yeah, just the way my my wang is gonna be. Hey man. Yeah, it's Nick the Dick, everybody. And so the microphone's like balls. No, they can't chin. hear All you right. when you do that. All right. They. All right. There you go. You're wearing a well. What? Where were you? Were you at a? Are you? Were you at a bouncy house? Because look at how you're dressed. <clears throat> Were you getting um, ready yes. for the SATs or what's going on there, bro? Um, no, I moved into a bouncy house. <laughs> yeah, Brian's <laughs> right. It's just really, it's really cheap. <laughs> okay, and you wake up just immediately. Yeah, you yeah, just, yeah. You stand up and then point. You just no, get right. You start your day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So you're okay. So it keeps you effervescent. Yeah, completely effervescent. Yeah. You guys were late, by the way. I'd like people to know that <laughs> you right. guys are not on time. I was ten minutes early. So Bre- Brendan goes like this. He goes, "Ah, it's so unprofessional. He's there already. We're late." I go, "There's nothing professional." About Nick, by the way, that's not nice. You need to take. I heard that. Is it Nick? No, I just mean you're not like formal, right? But you're you gotta show respect though, and I don't wear a tuxedo like you do outside of work. That's the thing about Brian. Brian's too formal, where he's just constantly walking around. In a tuxedo. I wish he was. One time. I wish he did. And then he calls it a suck me yo. That's his thing because he has no. It's crotchless. A so he wears suck this. Me-o. He wears the suck me yo. That's so stupid. It's so. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Nick. Um. One time when he was really young, Nick was funny. By the way, killing it at twenty three years old. Yeah. Okay? I, that's how long I've known him. You can really? say. That, you can say nineteen. Yeah. You guys have known each other that long. I've known you nice since you were nineteen. I've known you almost twenty years. Yeah. Holy. That's how long I've known. Shit. I met Brian in nineteen ninety eight in New York. Yep. Hot summer night, dark bar. Yep. I leather slapped, leather swing. Set. I slapped him around. I, I turned him. I turned him pinker than he already is with the with both my hands. Palms of your and hands. Then, and then we had we had some times. Now, he was always funny, and at one time I was going to bring him up on stage, and he goes, um, <laughs> he, it was, was a in, shitty crowd. Was this in New York? Yeah, this was in New York. I think we were at the comic strip. Probably goes, at the comic strip. He goes, um, I go, what do you want me to say? He goes, he said, I played a gay guy in Cameron <laughs> Crowe's movie, which was like he was screaming and stuff, David Bowie. And I introduced him as a gay god. I thought he said a gay god. Oh my god. So I go, he played a gay god. <laughs> In this movie, and he's like, what? And the whole audience is like, how? Oh. And then my uncle, I have my dad's brother. I have never heard anybody laugh this hard because Nick, Nick, the crowd was so shit. And Nick was always funny. At 19, he was already killing people, yeah. right? So he's getting up there. And I would always say, I'd always be like, you got to watch this kid because he's 21 or whatever. And he's going to be, he's going to be famous because he's really funny. So my uncle, I say, you got to watch this. So, so. He's doing jokes. The crowd could give a fuck about him. And he starts doing this. This was your punchline every time. You were like, ah, God, I ate so much turkey. I'm just so tired. (laughs) You guys ever eat a lot of turkey and just feel tired? And then he'd do another joke and it wouldn't work. He goes, damn, turkey. (laughs) My uncle was like, "Ah!" (laughs) was the crowd getting it? No, me and my uncle were fucking dying. You just kept blaming the jokes, not on the crowd, but on the turkey you ate. Did you eat? He goes, I I ate it, but I ate like a pound of it. Anybody ever eat a pound of turkey and try to do coffee? They weren't feeling it? No, I actually remember that. Because I literally did eat like a ton of turkey, and I just learned that it like makes you sleepy. And so I just, yeah, yeah, tryptophan. tryptophan. So I just kept blaming me tanking on the turkey and just every punch. I was like, turkey, it was so much. Like, you guys, like, do you even understand? Like, I was going through, like, some battle. That, like, and you would look down and, like, you'd play with something oh, on the stool. God, you'd play with the grain on the stool. You'd be like, ah, turkey. I shouldn't eat this much before. <laughs> my uncle was fucking crying. Oh, my God. Tell That's me, where you started in New home. York? I started in Minnesota, and then I moved to New York. Uh, Our comedy scene in Minnesota. The comedy scene in Minnesota is amazing. Is it good? A lot of comics, like, ask for advice. I'm like, just stay here for a while. Because yeah. New York was rough. Like, yeah, when I moved to New York, I was, like... <laughs> this Minnesota comic and I was like 19 when I started and I was like hey how are you I like to the crowd and they'd be like ah! <laughs> like they just they don't know anything they're just eating mayonnaise like, they're, they're so just... big too they're all isn't it the land of the giants Minnesota like I'm, when yeah. I shake hands they all everybody has giant hands big boys they're yeah. big they're all, they all look like Brock Lesnar Norwegians yeah yeah they're big Scandinavian yeah. take huge shits oh no oh, yeah. oh, how no, would you know great. that I don't did you hang out in a shit pit yeah no yeah, yeah. It's, it's um there's a lot of uh, bathrooms and stuff yeah yeah but uh no I mean then I moved to New York and it was like 
that was like when I really started tanking. I mean, I would usually have good sets, but like I, I would bomb really bad because I would be like, "Hey, how are you?" And they're like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? This guy sounds Get like an out asshole." Of here. Yeah, yeah. And I would just I got booed off stage. I would do the Boston Comedy Club. It was in New York, but it's called the Boston Comedy Club. I remember it. And I would do like Gina Savages. That was a t- that room. I had terrible sets at the terrible. Show. And you were a killer too. Uh, Why needs to rip tits? Why was it so bad? <laughs> I, I don't Rip know, tits. but I was just green. If you were green, like I was young. It's not a like, place to feel, try uh, stuff I out. tried, because, you know, when you're young and you're doing stand-up, you're, you're, first of all, you get in a cab, you go down, I went to the Boston Comedy Club, I get up, and I was supposed to showcase for, for Ken Trush had me showcasing for, <laughs> he had me show. How old are you at this time, Brad? Uh, 78. 20, yeah, I'm 78. I was probably 26, <laughs> 27. And, I, and I'm getting up there, and... I had this bit on penguins and turtles. And, I remember that, and dude. And I, I and that. I, you get nervous, and I try to go by road. I, I open with my thing, and they were just like New York drunk New York dudes and and gals who were just and tourists and, and older, and they're like, "Get the fuck dead." Just dead sets. Yeah. Oh, was, I remember getting well, in the cab going, oh, I was really bad. Well, you and me were both really physical comics, so and the stage is really small. Yeah. And so it's like you couldn't really, like, tear into it. So, like, they want, and, like, I wasn't edgy at all. Me like, neither. I had no edge. Like, me we were neither. both, like. I wasn't we edgy. We were just, yeah. We I were didn't want to be edgy. Just a couple friendly did you ever, guys. Did, did you ever do, we were Twinkies. We were did, Twinkies <laughs> with lipstick. Yeah, and we, were, and we were, and you and I were always really nice to everybody, and whereas most comics are. They have an fucking edge to mean. Them. Yeah. Like, aren't they? Most people are bristly, and, and Nick and I would always be especially the person. New York comics. Like, I still return every single phone call and email that I ever get. Like, I'm never, yeah. I've never become that guy who I just. Uh, uh, it's my personality. I don't right. want to be. And I think you've always been the same way. But, but like, I would find like you'd go to like the rebar. Remember, like we those, yeah. those cool rooms that you'd get up to with sometimes, and then it'd be like the cool kids. Like Marin and like Sarah Silverman, Luna Lounge and, and, stuff. and and yeah, and and Upright Citizen Brigade, they're all great. But but they were um, they were the cool kids. They were yeah. in L.A. already, and we were. I anyway. For then me, when did I you was, come? Then when did you come to L.A.? I was in New York for a couple years. And, was uh, it Murder's Row back then too? It was just kill, everyone's killers out there. Then? No, because it would be like back then. It was it was like Amy Poehler. It'd be like we're I mean, in L.A. or New York. New York. New York. Yeah, I mean, people. This is when. Uh, Gosh, there were a lot of. I mean, yeah, Louis people were C.K. crushing. Would be up there. Gaffigan was starting out. Yeah. I mean, he was coming up then. Monster. Gaffigan, Louis Gal- C.K. was coming up. Monsters. Galifianakis, shoot a Friedlander. I mean, there was a ton of great people. Amy Poehler, Burr, we, you know, um, Bill Burr, everybody. But everybody was young. Yeah, nobody was kill- like you know. No one knew it was. Gonna Sarah be. had Sarah Silverman. I remember had had gone yeah. to um, L.A. and then I remember she was in these cool track pants. And somebody said, "And that's Sarah Silverman. She just got back from L.A." And I was like, "L.A." Look at Seems so pants. far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I was, I love New York, but I was psyched to move to LA because it was just, I don't know. It was so, it was just too, <laughs> it was too aggressive for me. Mm-hmm. New York? And like people, when you show up and you're new, everyone's like, who's this fucking guy? Yeah. So it was like, hi, but I'm was Nick. it a shock to you? Did you find it shocking and almost too good to be true when you started doing well and, and you became a comic? Did you... For me, it was, was pretty validating. Like when you yeah. when, when you got into the rhythm of it, and you kind of cut your teeth and you ate shit. Literally, you know what I mean. Like yeah. on the ground, on the ground, and then like <laughs> literally, on the ground. <laughs> he has a he's into scat. <laughs> and the thing is, like you know, the mistake I made when I look back is that when I moved to New York from Minnesota, I always wore a bonnet. <laughs> And I would walk around, and I, I don't would, remember I, and it, that, Nick. Yeah, and that that started me off on the wrong foot. And yeah, once I took that off, <laughs> yeah, 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 started, yeah. <laughs> they started to kind of accept me. But the bonnet would, was it got in the way because it was so innocent. Yeah, also was, to be rolled out in a huge baby carriage that was that was super. Yeah, with my little butter churner. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just go, and they would take me around, and they were like, I think you got to ditch some and of now, this. And now, the comic in a bonnet. <laughs> but, but in L.A., they were friendlier to you? Because it's still kind of the same people, just in L.A., though, right? L.A.'s different. L.A. is different, man. Yeah, it's different. No, people were cool. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. There's more space in L.A. It sounds weird, but like, there's something about L.A. where you... You just have more space. New York wears me out. I like New York. It, I like doing yeah. shows there. New York wears me out. Yeah, and well, it changes your energy. brain chemistry, man. And New York's like... Like all about stand up, so it's like yeah. like prime stage time was like a battle to get. Mm-hmm. So people were really territorial. Like L A, it was more actors and you know people like that was more the focal point. I mean the stand up is always great there, but people weren't like fighting for stage time. It was yeah. kind of like my 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 <laughs> saving grace was Lucian Holt. Yeah, would put me up first at the comic strip at eight forty six or. 
eight twenty six every day where that that was my thing and i and i was and and I was like, I always open. It's hard. And he goes, well, you're very talented, Brian. You have a lot of energy. And uh, you're good at getting the Kick it off. going. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was fucking... Dude, you were a firework. That was a real firework. Good God. Good yeah. God. I in, can't other words, in other words, I'd get up and flip out because I was so afraid that people wouldn't laugh. That's that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, let me pull not just a bunny out of a hat, but let me expose myself. Pigeons. I'll do whatever I have to. I'll open a vein. <laughs> Look, I'm bleeding. Ah, take. I mean, for real. Yeah, he, he, was, he still has more energy than anyone I know. Yeah, yeah you do. By you know, far. Well, before I had an ability to control it, I was. I think I don't spat. think we would have got along back then. It'd been nah, too we much. We would have laughed. Your, your energy so much. Yeah, but you would have. I'm, I'm such a great guy. <laughs> You're all right. No, I'm an amazing guy. Say it. You're about a B minus. Nick, was what gonna... was the last part? <laughs> My favorite was like, you were such a firework that you would light your dick like a wick. I don't remember that. Yeah, You're spreading rumors. That. Well, that was your peyote phase. You got really into peyote. My you peyote would, phase. You bring a shaman on stage. Well, that's because I'm half Native American. <laughs> that's, from Native America. And that can't be true. You hey, speaking know. of fireworks, were you at that barbecue at Galifianakis's in Venice when I brought all those illegal fireworks? Tight no, move. but I, I, like went to a lot, and stuff? I went to a lot of his... M80. The, I went to a lot of those barbecues where he'd have volleyball and yeah. everybody was so unathletic that I was, <laughs> so the LeBron, I was the LeBron James. I was the LeBron brother. I, was I bet you LeBron. were thriving. Dude, we'd play volleyball and everybody was tiny and they were, they'd never seen a ball. They'd never seen a ball. And I would get up and I'd just be like, hey, hey. I'd be spiking. I remember Fiona Apple, when I was dating Fiona Apple, yeah. she, she was like, she goes, um, I saw you with all your hand stuff. I was like, what? She goes, just the way you can manipulate the ball. Obviously, you know, you're so much more athletic and I know you were showing off for me or something. I, I go, no, she goes, I know you're showing off. I, go, I was showing off for you joking around, but I was LeBron James. I was a better athlete. Oh, I bet you, were pay, so you were playing cocky. against like fat, pale improvisers. That's right. Yeah. And That's like, right. Who'd never done and sport. extras and stuff. That like, would never, I, I would, I'd walk around like a bully. Yeah. It was, it was not cool. Are you athletic at all? Nick? Do no, you do any? Insanely athletic. <laughs> What do you mean, Nick? I, yeah. What do you do? Like, what's, what's your been. morning routine? Basketball. My morning routine involves a lot of backflips, and then uh, a yeah. lot of stretching. Yeah. And then I immediately grab a basketball and just start. I dribble about ten you, miles a day. You oh, dribble oh, ten yeah. miles a mm -hmm. day down the freeway. That seems a lot. Yeah, yeah. in and out of traffic. What? Yep. I just cross over cars. I've never trucks. heard that, but that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty intense, man. Your boy doesn't your your boy Sandler plays basketball nonstop, right? He plays nonstop to the point where it's like, dude, you get like, like he'll be like, we got like five minutes in between setups. Let's just like play one on one real quick, and it's like. There's like scenes in movies where I'll see me and I'm just profusely sweating. He broke my hand playing basketball and I had to go and f film a scene in the movie Click. And I, my, my hand was shattered. He shattered my finger oh and like my part God. of my hand. blocking a shot or some shit? You know that Adam I, I, I took a ball directly Whoa. on my fingertip and it's just like, I didn't realize that it shattered, but it hurt really bad. Yeesh. And then Adam's like, let's keep playing. I was like, all right, yeah, all right. I'm like, yeah. So, and, then, and then I hit, hit my hand again. And it just oh, totally like he just loves basketball. That's his favorite actor. Um, that's Brennan's yeah. hero. He yeah. loves Adam. Sandler. Oh, really? I, I, I saw him at. Uh, yeah, I watched all his stuff as a kid growing up. He, he was my hero. And then I was at a movie and I thought I forget what movie I was some kid movie. And he was there with his family. But I didn't recognize that first. I'm like, yeah, that guy looks like Adam. And then I went to the bathroom and he's pissing next to me. I'm like. God damn that looks sound. I'm like, I don't be the weirdo man and like say something. So I was waiting and he <laughs> came up to me. I was at the comedy store two nights before and I think he was around then. He came up to me and was like, You're that funny guy that kicks ass. I didn't know what to say. It was the first I got nervous. I was like, me? And he's like, What's up, man? I was like, Oh shit. It's cool. Did it's you take cool. him out? I, d I double legged him right there, and this kids were like, "No, stop!" I beat the shit out of him. Nice. Beat him yeah. up. It was great. Good man. It was great. He's really good. I got at arrested, but yeah, yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, he's really good at basketball, though. Like deceivingly, like you wouldn't think he he's, would be. He'd be. He would be good. He's but more he's athletic. Re than he's he really. Like. Yeah, he's really good. We were supposed to go play. I forget where I, uh, New York or I forget where it was at. But me and uh, Timmy Tebow were supposed to go play basketball with him. I forget where it was at, but he like shut down a court, like a straight up. Like professional basketball league court, <laughs> yeah, he does like that. closed it down, and then Tim and I were supposed to go play like five on five. We didn't go, but it would have got interesting if Tim and I. Tim play. Tebow and Brennan like muscled into a touch football game one time. We like, just showed Tim up Tebow randomly and in Denver. And they were just like in Denver. These guys were playing. They're like, "Can we join in?" Fucking like Brennan and Tim Tebow, <laughs> and Brennan Brennan like was a D one tight end and went to the NFL. Could have you know a, a, a crazy athlete and. And then Tim Tebow, and they went out and just 
threw at each other. <laughs> oh and Tim God. just threw passes over guys like me, <laughs> built like me. That's a good time. Meek. The word's meek. It was fun. That's what you are. I'm not meek at all. I'm bold. Don't say meek. Yeah. I'm God, I wish I could be a fly on the wall when you're at that party and just thought you were the man, just strutting around. Like fucking. oh, I walk around like I'm like a like I'm a professional. I'm LeBron James. I bully other. When I, there are a bunch of comedians. I throw punches. But one time, one time, Brian, Brian, and Noah. I walked in the, I walked in the green room. We were doing, getting ready to do a show together. I walk in. There's all these comedians around Brian, and Brian didn't know I'm behind him. He's dead serious. He's like, and then one guy was like, "What?" And I was like, "Get goosh!" Yep. And then goosh. And I took one guy and just fucking dropped him. And they were all I'm like, a liar. "What?" And I'm like. What the fuck he is going in. on here, Brian? What? I'm throwing oh. punches, and I go, <gasps> and he goes, "What is he saying?" I go, "Nothing." Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We're crazy. I, where was this? In, it was Phoenix. in Phoenix. So it's like local. But comics I do it all the time. Live. I teach. I'm like the guy goes. This guy's just been taking boxing now. Now I've been boxing for three years. Okay, when I say boxing, like I work with a <laughs> professional trainer, right? And I I kind of spar with people who are terrible. And uh, again, they're, they're, it's like sparring with the dudes from a lot of guys are from the, the volleyball guys, but I look awesome. And, uh, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'm sitting here teaching the guy footwork and what not to do as I, and I go, and a lot of times I'll dip here and I say that and I, if he saw me, it would be, it'd be very embarrassing. It makes me sick. I that's, just want to be. That's a, nauseating. I want to be. For me. Fighter. It makes me sick. <laughs> it that's nauseating to it hear. It makes me sick. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. really it hard It literally makes hear. me sick. Come on. I just like all these Phoenix comics, like. Oh, in awe, of Brian, yeah. all oiled up, and yeah, they, what a jerk! And I are. walked into shit on the scene. What the fuck's going on yeah, here? The giant comes in who really fought. You should have ended, Brian. <laughs> what? You should have just taken. Should I go? She's giving you guys yeah. some tips, and just you should have sent him to the angels. I should have pulled <laughs> your yes. pants down, spanked you in front of everyone. Yeah. You should have sent him to the angels. <laughs> sent him to the angels. <laughs> Time yes. to send you to the angels. You what? Wait, what? Ow. That's a great thing to say. Send him to the angels. I would yeah. love to do that before I killed someone. I, uh, Time do you know me. Chris Lieben? Yes. The yeah. Crippler? The Crippler. Yeah. He was, I haven't talked to him for a while, but he was a, we used to hang out back in the day. Nice and guy. I remember one time, uh, I was doing shows in Hawaii. And, He's uh, from there. Yeah. And, uh, he came to the shows and I was there for a week and I was like, Hey, let's, uh, you know, let's drink and party. And he's like, no, I'm good. So every day I like, we were drinking and partying. and he was like, no. So finally the last day I go, it's my last day. I go, you're really not going to like rage. And he goes, all right, you want me to, you want me to rage? That and I go, yeah, rages. yeah. No, and he goes, okay, right. here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. He had a prom for a while. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, how dare start, you do that to we, him? He's trying to stay so Terrible. Well. So we, we just start doing sake bombs. I mean, this is like 12 years ago. Start doing sake bombs. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> floodgates open. We're just hammered. We go to Dave and Buster's. He chokes my friend out <gasps> in the middle of Dave and Buster's. <gasps> he just loses it. Oh, my God. Chokes him out. My buddy's just frothing at the mouth on the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. We're all like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then it just it just literally escalated to the point where, like, I beat him at Papa Shot. He started throwing, like, leg kicks. Wow. Then he got me, like, in a leg chokehold in the cab, and oh the cab God. driver pulled over. It just, it was really horrible. Dude, I, I hung out with him in upstate Washington, and I was doing a gig, and he was there, and he was doing an appearance. And His head's like this. He, yeah, yeah. He's got the widest head and a triangular his body, the triangle shoulders, he's and his fingers and hands are so big. He's it's so It's horrifying. Thick. He's so, and and he got he's so nice. He's such a nice man. Yeah, he's Super a sweetheart. Nice. But he was a little he was a little he got he started same thing. He started to rage and you could see that, that that's one of his demons. Yeah. I hope he's I hope he's sober because he's a, such a good I think guy. he is, yeah. I, 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 look at his head. It's like I a think fat he's a ex coach truck. now at the UFC oh, good. Uh, at the UFC gym. Good. He's a fucking good guy, so yeah, so the next day I was like, dude. Look at how, he's, a, he's an awesome looking fellow there. Look at him. Oh, you know what, he's, what he did to me during that whole excursion? Mm. He goes, punch me in the face. <laughs> and I go, no, man, I'm good. And he goes, no, punch me in the face hard as you can. I go, I'm good, dude. I go, that's really weird. And he goes, here's the deal. If you don't punch me in the face in five seconds, I'm going to punch you in the face. And I was just like, whap! Like, right away. I was like, ah, oh, my God. God, that's so weird. Where do you punch him, though? In the cheek or something? I, wouldn't I don't even punch know. Him. I punched some, like, meaty area where, like, it just absorbed my hand and then it Didn't pushed it back him. out. He's got such a wide face. It's like, hi, you go from one eye to the other. Hello, Chris. Did you ever see the fight he did with Bisping in London? And he Ooh. just stood there and put his hands down. He was just like, just punch me. Oh, my. No, I never and, saw that. Oh, my gosh. Dude, he just dropped his, hand, dropped his arms. He had some rough goes. Yeah. He, yeah. He could take a beating, man. Yeah, that's... Anderson Silva was having none of it, but that was Anderson Silva's <laughs> Anderson... first fight. Was it really in the UFC? They gave him Chris Lieb and he lit him up like Christmas tree. Yeah, oh, that that, that, that I mean, is right. That's a horrible thing, you know. 
Yeah, Christmas is not cool. In his prime. Nobody no, should. no one knew that. No, it wasn't his prime. No one knew. No one Anderson's knew. very he was first a new fight. guy. Yeah. Well, I obviously came from Pride. We knew he's a badass, but he wasn't like the spider. Right. That's a solid photo. That's, That's great it. if you're busy. God damn. That was That's me. But that was me after my first set in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that head. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, hey, what are you doing now? Are you uh, doing movies? I'm doing this show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it together. Yeah, I just filmed Avatar two through twenty. I don't oh, know if that's wow, bro. I don't yeah. know if that's the truth. Crazy. I'm not trying to be. I can see you as one of the blue like, creatures. Yeah, man. that makes crazy. sense. Who are you playing in it? I'm playing Zim Zaps. That seems yeah. like a made up name. It's not. I, I it and came off the tongue real quick. Who is Zim Zaps? Quickly, he runs quickly. the tree of genitals. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a glowing genital tree. I just tree. don't think that's true. Well, watch. Uh, the 18th one okay, and will. you'll see it, it'll make sense i will when it comes out in in 20 hey, um, is that 80, 20 go, go ahead though um no in all seriousness um i start my tour uh, i just did two weeks on the road and then i had a couple days off and so i start <clears> a two-month tour vegas uh friday and then san francisco and then sacramento and then i take off all over the place from there and i'm doing a new special and uh yeah tickets are at nickswartzen.net it's a very fun show. where is the special I don't know yet. I'm leaning towards San Diego. When are, what is the date though? Do you have a date? I don't have a date set, but I have have a title. Yeah. It's called many smells. (laughs) Many smells. Yeah. I'm addicted to like having the, just the dumbest. We were laughing yesterday. We brought it up yesterday. I'm shooting my special July 20th at Talia Hall in Chicago. Tickets are on sale right now, by the way. But, um, I need to, uh, (laughs) I know I just hijacked your thing, but I need a name for my special. My wife right. doesn't like. Right. It. I want to call it bipolar ape, but my wife doesn't like it much. That doesn't work for me. Really? I don't think so. Bipolar. Then we were ape? talking about American. What are you an indie band? <laughs> what an idiot! Don't call me an idiot, Nick. That's so rude on my. Podcast. As soon as you said bipolar ape, I, God. God, it just doesn't. You know that? You know what's not gonna be funny? What? A special called bipolar ape. All right. Yeah. That's good. Not what about a- volleyballer? Yeah, because you love good. volleyball so much. Volleyball. And you're so- volley, man. <laughs> I play volleyball. I love random shit like what that. What about volleying balls? What if I called it cow? That's good. Just something random. Yeah, that's not bad. American cow. What if you call it mediocre beard? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, <laughs> this is not a platform for you to fucking tear me apart. I've always been nice to you. Don't call it a mediocre beard. Either. I'm Please sorry. Take that back. I take it back. You haven't died in a while, huh, B? I let it go sometimes. I just grow my shit. Uh, right? Yeah, no, oh. it's solid, dude. Thanks. Yeah, it looks good. What? <laughs> Don't. No, I'm being sincere. But why are you looking over there, man? I'm being totally sincere. It looks like, great. Do you like his kicks? No, oh, yeah, I actually was... hate them. What lady footlocker did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at... Stop laughing at his fucking digs, man. No, it's not. Your shoes are sock shoes. Uh-huh. They're like aqua socks. They're, they're, and they were probably expensive. Are they designer shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Who makes them? I don't know. Oh, my God. Balan, Balan, Balanciaga. You yeah. make money, Those huh? Aren't You're cheap. able to spend a lot of money on shoes? Well, these I got... <laughs> they, this the, I, these me. I got in the year 1928. <laughs> so I valeted my time machine when I, I got here. They look like 2,087 Yeah, they shoes. do. Yeah. And also, you see, here's the thing. You'll wear these crazy expensive designer sneakers, but then you wear these fucking things you got at Ross for Less, these, these Nike <laughs> Air shorts, and then this... These damn pockets. A T-shirt and a camo thing. You love my T-shirt. I do. All right. All right. Also, my shorts have zippers on them. That's a because, plus. like, when I get um, drunk, which I've only been a couple times in my right. life, uh, my stuff would fall out of my pockets. So, so I got have, I got zippies. So you have you have shorts for your alcoholism. Um. Yes. Okay. But I don't drink. I actually don't drink as much as people think. What do you spend your money on? Seriously. Oof. Diamond football helmets, probably. Okay. It's That's a, good, a big one. Good. It's a good investment. Yeah. Right. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. I don't really like. I live pretty humbly. I gave up my car. I spent a lot of money on food. You gave up your car? Yeah, I haven't had a car in like two years. You Uber everywhere? Yeah. That's so weird to me. Wow. I have a neighborhood where I can walk. You know, cartwheel and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What? Um, don't you like the freedom of driving yourself though? I hate feeling like I have freedom to or on. just insane anxiety. That's what it was for me. It was just like it just added so much stress to my life. So driving. I just, yeah, I was always just screaming. Do you suffer from anxiety because you don't take elevators? I know that. Yeah, I'm afraid of elevators. I have like a little bit of anxiety, but it's not too bad. I've kind of like gotten over a lot of things, but yeah, I, like sometimes, yeah. Where's the elevator thing come from? Were you traumatized as a kid? I just something? never liked them. I remember what I was doing. Uh, <clears throat> I was in doing shows in Boston, and I got stuck in an elevator. I was with my buddy Jay. Yeah. And I, I'm not embellishing this at all. He knows I have a fear, and I, they, they would not let me take the stairs. So I was like, okay. So I took the elevator, and all of a sudden, and it stops. Oh my Your worst God. nightmare. And my worst nightmare. And my buddy Jay goes, dude, <laughs> dude. And I was like, ah! and I took the doors. I'm not joking. And I ripped them open. I was like, ah! and Jay's like, dude, dude. And I ripped them open. And I just go, jump. <laughs> Jump! And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I go, jump! And he's like, dude, this is so dangerous. I go, yeah, yeah. And he jumps down like halfway off the floor. And I just fucking rip him and then just dive out. And we fall into the lobby. And the door's closed. And I was like, yeah, yeah. never again. And I'm like shaking. Oh, my never God. Again. My buddy Jay's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God is right. Yeah, and I had to like walk outside. And I think I called my mom or something. I was just had a complete nervous <laughs> breakdown. You called your mom. So, so my, my friend, Jimmy Burks, friend uh known her forever she couldn't fly and she she just couldn't fly her and john but it was a major problem she had gotten some job where she needed to fly and uh it's a stewardess no, yeah right <laughs> yeah but she had got this dream job where she would regard, so she went through intensive therapy and hypnoti- hypnotism to kind of overcome this insane fear and also like you know the chances of you know that they what the one plane crash of fucking every yeah let's well, find southwest she was the one in the plane that took off and broke in half oh and she died what she took her Jeez. first fucking no. plane i know <laughs> Her first plane. That's like that Alanis Morissette song. Dude, her first oh plane went up and it, the plane broke in half. So those, <laughs> it's so awful. Those You're people, a bad person. I know. Those he people, survived it, so it was all fun and games. I know. I thought you were going to say, and she got and over I always think her. about her. I always think about her going, ah, What's the okay. worst thing can happen? I know. <sighs> and then, the right guy you worried about. It's one thing to go in. It's one thing to go in. It's nothing for the plane to break fucking in half. How long ago was this, B? It was. Was it a Lego plane? Ago. I don't know. How does a plane break in half? It was made out of Legos. It was made of Legos. You don't take a Lego plane, number one. And she did. Yeah. It's no, it was, no, it was recently. I got to get Jimmy to tell me I've that. I've never story. even heard of that. I feel like you'd make the news if a plane fell in half. Well, it, no. You it think did. you're lying to How is that even possible? I'm going to get this story, though. Hold on. Did Superman fly through it? <laughs> Yeah, How does a on. plane Because homegirl on Southwest got sucked out of the plane. They dragged her back in when she died. That was awful, she yeah. Did die? Yeah, yeah, she, she died. died. Oh, it, was, it was only one person that died. They saved her, grabbed her feet. She was about to get sucked out, though. I thought, see, I heard that was only in the movies. You know how people are getting sucked out? No, that's real. Well, it's like the movie, what was it, Alien 4, where the alien gets sucked against the wall and then it just goes. Like, yeah. 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 Ick. Is it Flight 800, Brian? Yeah. It's my, a 1990 yeah. something? It was yep. split in half midair, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a bomb, though, might have caused it. They think it's a bomb. Well, I'm imagining it has to be a well, bomb. Yeah, they just don't just break, break it half. half. That's fucking, insanity. Yeah. Damn, Brian, why would you make this a dark podcast, man? His was happy. He had this fear. Yeah, I had a really fun story it. where everybody because survived. Brian goes, oh, yeah, I know a girl died. You need to learn. You're writing That's a long text, get, Yeah, I'm going to get all the information. That's why I'm doing it. Um, <clears throat> so fucking crazy. But, but what, originally you, were, originally you were scared of L- elevators why have you seen the movie devil too diarrhea <laughs> yes i've seen the movie devil it was horrifying even movies like that i can't like deal with it like, would you rather die this is a serious question oh, god what is wrong with brian fun man would you brian do you need help? help bro would you rather die in a plane crash or be uh, die by crocodile would we rather die in a plane, plane crash? crash? What all the fucking fuck, man? day? Really? A crocodile? Yeah, crocodile. No. God. The reason I'd rather die by what crocodile. Is that the stupidest think, question ever? For me, it'd be like you just get drowned. The thing grabs you. No, not true. No, no not true at all, Brian. He's gonna grab whatever limb he can get a hold of, twist it off, and then carry you down while you're screaming, and then you're, you're still alive. That's not good. And then he eats you out. 
<laughs> That's what they do. They, they asshole first. You know, yeah, no. they sit there. No, I think they all grab you and they twist and they pull parts of your body off. That's what they do. Yeah, a plane. It's like plane. It's like no. Do you know that my friend used plane's to like ah, and then fuck game you. over. My friend used to. I can't wait. I want to be respectful. Ah! That. Yeah. You want to um, respect the my friend? For what, you know, sir? you know when, when there is a plane crash, they have people who go and inspect the the crash site, and they do all the data collection and stuff like that. I don't know if I. And only the something. peanuts are left. No, they find they. Find, their shoes are still there. They find the not the, Brian's. People go through their shoes. Yeah, they go through their shoes. You've said that twice on the have, podcast. I like how you was breaking I, info. Yeah, it's so crazy. I mean, have you ever been a part of an emergency landing on a plane? Nope. Nope. Have you? Yeah. God. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Yeah. What happened? I pulled an alarm. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I was like, Nick, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't I opened me. the window. You I can't. wanted to get some air. You're screwed if you do that. Did you see uh, the com- uh, TJ Miller? He he was messing around, called a bomb threat on a, yeah. on a bus or on a train. They arrested him. Yeah, but he was promoting a special. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, they don't fuck around with that. Stuff. No, no, it's, no, it's of, terrible. No, I was I was kind of screwed. I was flying into New Orleans through a storm. And they're like, we have to do an emergency landing. And everybody's like, fuck does that mean? Jesus. So they were like, brace yourself. We're like, for like, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, as much gonna, as you can yeah, brace by the way, yourself. By the way, what, I'm, what else am I going to do? Yeah. Oh, let me get my oh, armor was, fucking shell out of the I was going to do there. jumping jacks in the aisle. I was going to tr- finish Corky Romano on my laptop. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to brace myself. But people were freaking out. And I was like... Like the comic in me, I just was like, I, I just kept like trying not to laugh because I was like, well, this is it, this is it. You know, people were like, ah! and I was like, oh my I don't God. know. I At least you can make CNN. I was thinking about that. If I die, we'll be, make CNN. I, uh, this it, is what I do when, when, somebody's, <laughs> when somebody's next to me, watch this, get scared if there's a real turbulence. And this is how I act, ready? I, again, remember how I talk about fighting? Now watch how I am when you're sitting next to me in a plane. Be a girl and be afraid. Go okay. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. What? Never worry about this. It's impossible that we would crash. Where's your boyfriend? <laughs> Why are you alone right now? Because I'm not. Because look at me, look at me, look at me. Hey, what? come here. First of all, come breathe into my mouth. What? Why? Because it's helpful with your nerves. Is that right? true? Yes, it is. You, this, we're not going to crash. We're not going to crash. Now, look at this. See that? <laughs> That's real. That's called an American boner. Now, let me finish. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's where the strength lies. And how much strength? <laughs> enough to keep this fucking bird af- afloat. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. And we're going to be okay. All right. All right? All yeah. Right. You look your- a lot like Nick Schwartz in the <laughs> comic. Do you know? You know who that is? So I'm not attracted to you even a little bit. Oh, you're you're horrible looking. I but lo- you're not going to die. So that's the good news. The bad news is you look like the comic Nick Horrible Swordson. But the good news is you're not going to die. But that could also be bad news because you have to walk around with Nick fucking Swartzen's terrible face. Oh. Okay. So He's you that can bad. make your choice. He's that bad. But to me, to me, I and I don't want to be too, but he's revolting. <laughs> oh my god! And so you are revolting. <laughs> All right. Well, I want this plane to go down now. <laughs> That's a better attitude. Get rid attitude. of that boner. Get That's rid of that boner. I'm going to punch that boner right in his face. But it's already gone because I'm looking at your Nick <laughs> Swartzen face. Oh my god! Yeah, and I'm sorry uh-huh. to say this out loud. And I feel bad. But do you feel, are you thinking about the plane crash? I want to go down faster. There you go. There you go. I'm going to open this window really quick. That's called called hardcore therapy, brother. Thanks. I was dying. Thank you. That was solid. Thank you, man. And seen. And seen. Proud of you, too. And seen. So many blessings. Yeah. Too many. Too many. Too many blessings. Um, So, yeah. And then I I I finished a movie uh, last summer called The Buddy Games. Really? With me and Josh Demel, Olivia Munn. I'm Mon. doing a movie with Josh Demel. Are you really? Yeah. What is real. it? It's called Think Like a Dog, and I'm and doing it in New Orleans in China. Stink Like a Dog. I just worked out my whole schedule this morning. Shoots Meg, in New Meg, Orleans? Megan Fox and Josh Duhamel. Nice. Yeah. What does that guy, start? right? I've worked with him once on, in Las Vegas, but don't remember. He's awesome. He's a great guy. Yeah. Midwest kid, North Dakota. Yep. Big, handsome son what of a What was fish. he in last? Well... <laughs> He just did. He's yeah, on just a TV total, show. Total silence, like, he did his E show. 
No, he did. It. He's on a TV show. He's always working. And he did Transformers <clears throat> Eight or whatever. It oh, was. look at Nick. Rise of the. Yeah, look at me. Oh, Aww. there you guys are. Who's that guy? Yeah, he on is the a left? stud. He's the guy from Supernatural. <clears throat> and and Jansen Eccles. <clears throat> yeah, look at Josh. Where'd you guys film at? He did so much coke, it's all in his beard. Oh no, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, we were like, dude, dial you're it spraying, down. Dial you're spreading it rumors. Down. Where's that at, Nick? That's in Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver. Look at how eh? tan I am. Wow. Yeah, you got a lot of sun. Gosh, out there. too much like... sun. I got so high. Is in that Vancouver. Josh and George Hamilton? <laughs> Lord, that's crazy. <laughs> God tan I am. I thought you were serious for a second. I was like, that's not tan. <laughs> He's like a ghost. <laughs> You're a, you do have Norwegian skin, huh? Yeah, fine. Of the finest sausage. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's good. It's hard art comedy. Great cast. Super fun. Good. There's James Roday, Kevin Dillon, Olivia. Oh, Kevin Dillon's a nice guy. Josh yeah. um, looks like Hellboy. Kevin, Kevin Dillon, I... <laughs> <laughs> My God. Kevin Dillon and I did a fucking. Uh, we were on Entourage together, and we did this. We did this table read under a tent, and it was super hot. And and Kevin looked at me, and he didn't know what to say. So it was one of those. You ever have one of those terribly awkward conversations? And he looks at me like this, and he's such a nice guy, and he goes, "How you doing?" And I go, and then I go, "Good. It's hot though, huh?" And then he goes, "It is." And then he goes, "Then there's a pause," and he goes, "I feel like LA's gotten a lot hotter over the years." The weather and talk. I, yeah, and I, go, I, go, I go. I know, right? And then, and then there, I was like, "So here we go again." And he's like, "Yeah." That's when you know you ran out of shit to Fuck talk God. about. How do weather. you get work? That's oh, your small on. talk. That's your small talk. Come on, bro. Oh my I did God! Two it's not fun on a podcast either. I'm gonna try to get Josh to get you off that movie. No. Yeah. Could you text gonna, him? Yeah, I'm gonna text him. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Get don't, that picture don't out of here. Can't quit. He looks like Hellboy. No, he really does. I can't quit laughing. Get when him out there. You, when do you start filming? Um, a couple of days in May, and then a couple of, uh, like a week in June. You gotta go to China, China though, huh? Gotta go to China. What's there? What are you doing over there? Movie. They shoot a lot of stuff in China. What? What movie is this? Have you ever flown to China? How long does it take? Can you see how long that flight is? 18 hours? No. No, it's not that bad. I think 14. No, Australia's 14. Two hours? Is it two? Two sounds more like Yeah, it. I think that's more accurate. 13 hours. 17 12. days. <laughs> God, that's long. Well, I'm going by boat. I'm going by boat. <laughs> oh, that'll be quick. 12 hours and 15 minutes. That's I'm going, terrible. I'm going to Beijing. That's it's it? Not too dude, China? Take, 12 I, hours? It sounds oh. like I'm joking. Take a jet ski, dude. <laughs> What? Yeah, way quick. It like takes like right. five months, but it's so fun. It is the whole fun. time. Yeah, um, just bring like a power bar. What's his name? <laughs> um, power bar. I was listening to Rogan's podcast, and the guy Peter Atia is a doctor. Swam from Kwai to Lanai, and then back, and then he goes. But I had to fly. I, we had to figure it out because you can't swim at night because of all the tiger sharks. Yikes! Yeah, there's sharks all. That's like, crazy. What the Everywhere. fuck are you doing? And then he does the Catalina thing, the Catalina Channel <clears> where. <throat> There are all great whites everywhere. Everywhere they, with the fishermen, that's where they fish for the great whites. And he goes, um, he goes, yeah, you, you start at twelve at night. Are you out of your fucking stone? No. Why is he doing? Are it? you Just out of your stone? They, people are crazy. <laughs> that's from the forties, Nick. Oh my god. Also gosh. say, gee whiz, if you say something I mean, shocking. Gee whiz, are you out of your stone? Hey, why is he doing? Are you out of your? Why? Why does he do it? None of your beeswax. <laughs> He just does um, it for the fuck of it. I guess he just—he's one of those extreme, you know, guys. I don't get he gets into off that. on that. Yeah, I don't get into that extreme shit. I, I don't the ultra marathons. I know you run. Not those, swimming but. with sharks. I run too many marathons. Yeah, I know that. When I think of you, I think of marathon. Yeah. Um, I do a two block. I gotta piss so hard. Let's do you it. You guys want to keep going while I piss? Yeah. Yeah. You got this. Go yeah, piss. we will. Go we piss won't talk here. about you. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> God, you you, see fart? He, you don't, don't fart like that, Brennan. <laughs> you see when he got up? Oof! Yeah. Um. Are we continuing? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now it's just you and I. Hello, darkness, my, my old friend. friend. Are you, <laughs> would you like to be a like? Would you rather be a great singer songwriter, or what you are, which is a great stand up? I would rather just be me. Ah, oh, it's annoying. That answer is so annoying. Well, why don't you pick a singer songwriter that I would be? Why don't okay. you give me some examples? All right, Bono. What the fuck, Bono? I would Who like to be. Like? I would like to be Bono. That would be pretty. What fun. all bullshit aside? What artists kind of blow you away? 
or inspire you? Mm. Brian Callen. Yeah, obviously, because I destroy. Duh. Um, that's a good question. I don't. Uh, who inspires me? Tony Danza. <laughs> um, obviously, I have his posters on my wall. <clears throat> who inspire? I don't know. I guess I. I do that's any, so lame. Do you have any heroes? You know who really inspires me, and this is serious. Charlie Chaplin really inspired me. Mm -hmm. I became addicted to Charlie Chaplin. For yeah. those of you who don't aren't familiar with Charlie Chaplin, I mean he's a legend icon. But uh, go back and watch his stuff because he was doing phenomenal, right? I mean, it's crazy what this guy was doing yeah. in like 1920. Yep, like short films. If anybody can find this short film called A Night in the Show, mm. and it's a short film he did early on, probably oof, maybe 1930. It's so hilarious. Are we, are we being loud? Close that door. Is it too loud? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh. Who is that? Oh. Is that a um. crossbow? I say, No! Mom! It would go through your body and you would look down and then die. It would go, sit, and you would go, mm. What's the last thing you would say to me? Huh. <laughs> you know what you'd say, probably not to be a dick? You're always better. I you might say away. that. I might say that. I would probably go, um... See you later. That's how a man would do it. Nick Swartzen.net. I would probably still try to promote my dates <laughs> and then money. see if they could, like, weekend at Bernie's me. <laughs> Put you up and then I would do stand-up and move your mouth. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin. We're talking about Charlie Chaplin. Who, I asked who... who, who oh, you grew up with him, didn't you? <laughs> don't, Brennan. Don't be an agent. Why did he... <laughs> Oh, no. Fuck you, Brian, you <laughs> old sack of diarrhea. <laughs> God, you're really relishing. Wow, man. <laughs> you're relishing in my How funny sleep. would it be if Brian died? Oh, my Whoa, God. <laughs> oh, my God, you really hate me. <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want Brian to die. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You'd be fun. Would, would you rather <clears throat> get bitten by a shark that has AIDS? I thought you were going to say. Okay. I thought you were going to say, would you rather get bitten by Charlie Chaplin? Or a shark with AIDS. Yeah. Well, those are two well <clears throat> that was my only option. Would you rather want to get bitten? I don't want to lose. What were we talking about Charlie AIDS. Chaplin, though? That's one of my heroes. He's why, a, why did he have brilliant. that? Was that a real mustache or is that a fake one? That, that was a fake. That was a fake it's mustache. Fake. It's yeah. fake and as Why fuck. would he wear Hitler's mustache? Because it was before, it was in at the time, it was before man. that. It was like before the Hawaiian that. shirts I'm wearing. It's in right now. Before that, you know, fucking history. Fucking All right. right. You're right. Wait, I, I just remember this story. Somebody told me when I was doing shows in Florida. Uh, I have Florida shows coming out May 10, 11, 12. Orlando, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale. You got a lot of dates, bro. Yeah. So I heard this story about a guy who was at a bar in Florida, and he was like out back, and they had like this kind of janky fence. So there was a swamp. Some guy's shit faced. He walks over smoking oh, no. a cigarette. <laughs> some, this some, he walks towards the fence. Some guy goes, Hey, man, look out, man. There's a gator out there. And the guy goes, What? Fuck that gator. And he jumped over the fence, and that was the last thing he said. He said. <laughs> Those were his last words. Oh, was, no. Fuck that gator. And then the thing just grabbed his leg and his butt. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Deuces. He just went to the Fuck angels. Fuck that gator. The, the, the angels were like, really? <laughs> All right. That's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Really? All right. Um, Stupid. This is, this is a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> God. It would be cool if angels. I don't swim. Look at Charlie them. Chaplin. I didn't know we saw Brian live. <laughs> <laughs> that's a picture of him at the. Dude, dude, that's so. Is he yawning? Is that what he's doing there? Yeah. So not cool to say that about me. Uh, oh, you heard that? Yeah, God, I'm oh, right. I'm sorry. Here. God. Oh, fucking work my leg. You uh, work my leg because you're into. Dude, dudes. those are great jeans. I didn't know Levi's made spray. They're paint. not. They're Levi's <laughs> make spray paint. That's they're cool. No, no, they're not tight. They're, they're called not tight naked and famous. Oh my god! Man, I don't like guys. I'm having so much fun. We should get a timeshare together. All right, There's three of us. Yeah, three of I us. I like Nick. that a lot. Nick will cook, and he'll do. He'll get all. He'll you'll get, cook no pants, just the fucking. And you're gonna want. You're gonna one's gonna top. get roughed up if you know what I mean, quote unquote. Every day, humby. You don't yeah. have to quote unquote that. I think I know what roughed up means. Yeah, but I mean, depends you what know. your definition of roughed up is. Explain it to him, Brian. Well, you're gonna get fucked. Correct. Now, by that I mean we're gonna put our dongs in you. Correct. If you know what I mean. Are you getting what you we're can, putting down? Air quotes. You mumbled dongs. <clears throat> you said dong. Yep. You can also say wang. Whatever you want to say. Either way, we're gonna put our plural. Dongs. We're gonna put plural our dongs in plural. your plural. Your... Yeah. You don't sound confident about it, though. You're like, yeah, we're gonna put our dong. Yeah. yeah well, I don't like to be explicit. I don't like being vulgar. Dong. There you go. See? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I just made up for your pussy bullshit. Oh, man. Yeah. Congrats. That's the name of your special, Pussy Bullshit. <laughs> that's not Look cool. Look at that. That's your special. That's your album. That's your tramp stamp. I'm not getting That's one. your grill. Ew. Yeah, sign no, up for it. No, I'm not it. doing that. I'll make you a grill right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yank. smile. He needs... <laughs> Do you hey, say where's that? your Invisalign? Hold on. Uh-oh. I forgot it. Motherfucker. <laughs> let me see your home Before you pull in, let me see your teeth. Gross. Okay, not Haven't working. Moved. Okay, not working. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, at least they're sterile and clean. Did you get those out of your pocket? Brian, they're not working, bro. Well, we got to go metal. Why are they bleeding? Time. No, we have to go metal. Because my, I have Nick, bloody, we convinced him he needs metal braces, not this bullshit. Yeah, you need like steel, like yes. big. Yes. Like Jaws from 007? Yeah. Like a 14 year old in high school. I don't yeah. want to do that, guys. And acne. You need acne. My skin is so good, though. I have good skin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Nick. Skin. Hey, Nick. I look 51. Okay. <laughs> no. You, no, you do have good skin. Yeah. Yeah. How old psoriasis are you? is a bummer. How old are you, Nick? 41. God damn, dude. I've really known you since you were 19. Yeah, literally. So weird. That's crazy. That is fucking weird, man. You're you do 41. have good skin, though. Yeah. Who's your dermatologist? I'm Fire Marshal Bill or... <laughs> <laughs> That's not, I don't even think it's funny, dude. So why are you laughing at your own joke? You're laughing at your own joke. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. You were like, (laughs) no, I'm still laughing at your beard. Chuck. It's rough, man. What made you guys fucking decide to talk about Charlie Chaplin? I said, I try to have a serious conversation. I go, who are the people that like, inspired <laughs> you? He goes, Char- he goes, seriously, Charlie Chaplin. If you get somebody from the fucking There's 30s, Brian. Greatest character ever. That's an amazing character. Yeah. Look yeah. at Brian. Did you, Nick, you do um, what's called broad acting. Would you ever want to do like, you know, real acting? Um, yeah, when I stop booking these jobs. Man, All right. Just like, good Lord, man. Booker okay. T. Washington. How would, okay. Do you do stats out here in L.A.? I haven't seen you at the store. Anything. I do sometimes, I, but like when I'm home, I just want to like chill out. So it's like you know, I'll do some sets, but I, I don't like crush it. Like certain guys, like Delia goes up like ten Every times night. a night. He's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he cracked he's not me up well. last night. I watched him last oh, night. He's a God, fucking, he was fucking it funny. Right now. Yeah, just, Delia there. goes up literally every night. He's just yeah, he, every, every night. night. Yeah, that's just what he does. There. I talked to his girl last night. I go, what um, did Chris do today? And she said he went got he got coffee. He went to the bank, and then he went to coffee, and then he went to another coffee shop, and then another coffee <laughs> shop. And I go, hey, bro, what are you doing that time? What are you doing? And he goes, oh, looking at my phone and looking at people. He's autistic. He makes content, though. He gets content. His though. Instagram's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, Chris he is gets super it, funny. and it's, he's, he's killing it he on there. Made a video yeah. with him last night. He sent, us a, he sent us a picture of all these checks, right? We always fuck around with each other on the group text, so we get off the road, send pictures of all the, our money, just fucking with each other. Mm-hmm. And he sends a picture of all these checks, big checks, and there's these fat tits behind the check. And I go, <laughs> bro, let me get those tits. Who is that? And he goes, that's my girl, man. I'm like, I know. So don't send a picture of your girl with her titties. Pictures. Hey, man, what are you doing? Well, I'm living my life. I know, but what do, what do you, I just heard that you don't, like, your day consists of, you went to the bank, then you went to coffee. I go to the bank, times. deposit, mm, you know how that don't word ends. Don't say, don't, don't. Mm, I'll let you figure out no, the rest. No, no, you're going to say money, don't you? Money. All right, okay, okay. okay. And then I get, get coffee, get coffee what then you, I go to the bank, then I go so get coffee. So what do you do all day? You just, do you just hang out? I'll give you a little taste of my life soundtrack, dude. Yeah. What is it? Is this back in black? <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna Instagram that. What makes you laugh harder doing. than fucking Delia, man? <laughs> that's what he does. That's pretty solid. Yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> I'm not a coffee guy. You guys, coffee guys? Yep. Couldn't get any bigger. He drinks. I have my own coffee it. line coming out in June. Yeah. Really? He, he gets himself sick over it. Yeah, oh I start throwing up. I was drinking he so much has, coffee. Yeah. God. He I've, just starts throwing up like bloop, like out of nowhere. Like he'll talk to you and he goes Bleh, and just throws up. That's you're not a coffee guy at all. No, that's always fascinating. Why not? Um, I I used to I started drinking it like heavily on uh, when I when I started like doing movies where uh, like Grandma's Boy was the first movie I produced. And uh, I didn't know you produced Grandma's Boy. Yeah, it's a great movie. wrote it, produced it, co-wrote it, produced it, co-starred. And so it was like a, a lot of work. So I just started chugging coffee. I was like, oh, that's what you do. You just <laughs> you just fucking chug coffee. And I did like drank like ten cups and then just completely shattered my body. But you got grandma's boy out of it. 
I got grandma's boy out of it, but so get back in the I kind of fun. learned my lesson that I'm, I'm so extreme. Like when I do stuff, like I'm not like a one drink guy. I can't have like two drinks. Oh, I'm not either. Yeah. yeah I yeah. just go hard in the paint. Like give I me the rock, super hard. dunk it, jail. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. Word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who else did yeah. you write grandma's boy with? <laughs> um, Alan Covert, who was the lead of the movie. God. And then Sandler would throw in some little gems. He'd be like, what about that this? Doris Roberts you did with? Yeah. yeah. I love Doris. She was great. That movie's so goddamn we good. Ledge. Yeah, I love that movie. That was fun. I got to um, oh, yeah, be nude girl. in bed with Shirley Jones. And uh, we filmed the scene where we were in bed together uh, where I said I should have worn a condom, which was Sandler's line he gave me at the last minute, which You're was like, amazing. I worn a condom. And then her husband and her son were came to set that day. That's so strange. that was not weird at all. <laughs> no, so I just sat there. Weird. Well, they were like 10 feet just staring at Where'd me. you guys film that? I'm not sure. Yeah. Dubai on like some rooftop. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Dubai on some rooftop. Um, no, we filmed in uh, downtown Los Angeles. How did you meet Sandler? Did he see you to stand up? J-Date. I thought so. Yeah. J-Date. White people um, meet How long only? have you been Jewish? Um, it's like a week. Okay. No, we, uh, we met. Uh, he saw my first Comedy Central uh, Presents. And uh, he was in bed with his wife, and they were just channel surfing, and they stumbled across it. And my first Comedy Central Presents, you remember my bit I used to do about my grandma? And I'd be like, yes, niggas! Yes, yes. So he and saw that. that bit? No. He would, he would tell the bit. It's so fucking stupid. What's this whole thing? My it's grandmother not, makes me feel stupid. really strong. She can't lift anything. She's like, uh, can you give me that? No, you mean this jug of milk? And he lifted it up, and it was so dumb. I was like hanging out with old people because you feel like amazing. So I did this whole thing about being strong. Oh, my gosh. That's us in Vegas. We went for the Super Bowl. I am so violently hungover. It's insane. I look like every cast member of The Walking yeah, Dead. You look, you look. I look like a thousand age. beasts my on age. my face. Yeah, you look rough there for sure. Yeah, I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm <laughs> like trying. Else is. Everybody else is like totally on point. Yeah, I'm like going down in flames. Talented group right there. Yeah, some solid people. Who's that lesbian cop on the left? That's weird. <laughs> Spade oh killed gosh. it the other night at the comedy store. Spade's always been fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's super funny. I remember one time he called me up and he goes, uh, <coughs> he goes you want to see Brian Adams and Def Leppard? I go, the answer will always be yes, just so you know that. I go, what's the deal? He goes, it's in San Bernardino. And I go, how are we getting there? And he goes, I got a helicopter. Well, I go, yeah, that's, I guess, all right. Yeah, let's do fun. it. Yep. So we go to Santa Monica Airport. We get in a helicopter. It's him and me and him and this hot blonde he's with, smoking Stand hot. Him. So we get in the helicopter take off and then i realized there's no bathroom in a helicopter i'm really smart i barely graduated junior high school so there's no bathroom in a helicopter i have to pee violently oh that's the worst so i'm sitting there and we have like another like 40 minutes so i go i have to pee like really bad like dangerously bad so david goes we'll just go out of the window so there was this little slide window and i slid it and i'm so dumb that i thought you could just pee and it would just go out no like it would just go like a little stream right back in huh and it just hit it like a fan yeah. and just sprayed all over his date. All over no. this chick, yeah. No. All over. And they're both screaming. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, you said pee out of the window. And he goes, I was joking. You can't pee out of a fucking helicopter. I go, sorry, Magnum P.I. I don't fucking live this rogue lifestyle. You fucking little elf. Fucking twink. You cover them in in, in Schwartz just and urine, just Schwartz and urine. A yeah, golden shower for ah, this girl. Just, just enjoy enjoy this concert. golden shower, you fucks. Yeah, thanks for bringing me. <laughs> it brings you down to earth because you guys, oh, you're high above, you're above traffic. You think you're better than me? Watch this. Enjoy wearing my piss. Yeah, just shoot me. I will with my piss. <laughs> That's your new show. Oh, God. That's oh. Eight simple rules of pissing on your date. Yeah. Yeah. No rules of engagement with he, my dick. He I don't even know joke. what's happening he used to anymore. Do this joke, he'd be like, before the internet, if you had a fetish, you had to like, kind of like joke, you had to figure out, you couldn't find a community without the internet. So Spade he, does or no? No, he did this joke, he'd be like, it's like, you know, uh, you like getting pissed on? Me neither, just kidding. All right. <laughs> just, you go, you gotta I, gotta take, I gotta take a piss, unless you want me to pee on you. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was like in 1920, you had to like feel a date out. you would be like, Victoria, you look beautiful tonight. Yes. Are you going to get the salmon? That's great. I'm going to go use the bathroom. Uh, unless you want me to just piss all over your tits. And if she's like, what the fuck? You'd be like, I'm kidding. That was a joke. Why would anybody do that? It's disgusting. And they are, they are demons. And then I would go to the bathroom. And if she was like, yeah, I'm down, then you'd be like, in. But you just had to like throw it out there. <laughs> Try to feel the she might piss all over your tits. <laughs> 
that. What's funny is that there are people into my family. There are people into that. Hell yeah, there's people into it. Yep. A lot of people. My entire family reunion, to be specific. (laughs) Yeah. I wonder where that fetish comes from. I had in college. I there was a girl who said to me, "Guy, uh, she was such a bad girl." And she goes, "I've always wanted a guy to take a bad girl." I know. He said, "I've always wanted a guy to take a champagne bottle, shake it up, and put it in me and spray." And I was like, "Oh, (laughs) with shampoo." I was young, and I was like, "Oh, okay." And I say to my buddy Joe, "I go, she wants me to put a champagne bottle, shake it up." Oh, and my buddy goes, "Do it." Fucking do it. Why wouldn't you do that? I was like, I'm not into that. I don't want to do that. I'm not into weird. I was never into the weird shit, you know? I don't know. Oh, you got to do that, man. All right. Not anymore. It'd be a hard pass. It was a long time ago. I was 19 when she asked me to do that. And you didn't do it? No, I I didn't have a That was the prime time. That's prime time to do stuff like that. I've had girls who were before they wanted me to hit them. Like hit them hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. You're kind of a big brute, so they... Yeah, they you, want that you, Fifty Shades of Grey you, type of you, shit. You might, you probably they want a haymaker. Girl. There's a difference between like yes. a little spanking. Slap. No, like, I know, but they're like harder. But you know, I'll go to I'll go to jail. I'm maybe. just not into that. Yeah, no, I don't like that. This is not a turn on. Yeah, for me. No, I, I, hitting you is not like, like Jesus. Uh, what do you want me to do? Close my fist? Like I have no interest in and loosen a tooth. I mean, what the fuck are we talking? Yeah, about? like what if you just want to just keep going and then what? you get into it? Well, I want to. Like, I want to. Di- She's like, all right, fucking time out. I would tap. Hit, I'd hit you and the girl I was on the plane with, who was scared, who had your face. Uh oh, that's cool. Nine one one. Guys here. Have you ever had to call nine one one? Have you ever had somebody attack you because you have fans? You have, have any anybody? Stalk- you have any stalkers? I've had some weird stuff, but nothing like too bad. I haven't had anybody attack me. No. Yeah. Thank God. Because I surround myself with bodyguards. Get on with Tongans, giant, I have a, giant a circle. <clears throat> you yeah. like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. I have Floyd May- 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 Mayweather's. You watch sports a lot, right? I'm like, I, I have a, a horrible sports problem you where do. it's like to the point where my uh, agent called me and we were on this tour and he's like, there's some cities like we probably can't go to. You. And I was like, why? Because I, I just would get drunk and just tweet like belligerent, horrible things. Oh really? About oh my the god! City and their yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I get, yeah. I'm, my my Twitter during football season is so out of control. It's, I mean, what to, your team is obviously the Vikings. And yeah, Minnesota, damn good Minnesota, Minnesota spike. Minnesota sports are such a disaster. Like Vikings are good. The Vikings are good, but we had a heartbreaker this year. We have a heartbreaker every year. We've we've eaten just hot. Timberwolves shit. aren't terrible. We have game five tonight. And we just got blown out by like twenty five points last game. So, so and then the Wild got knocked out of the hockey playoffs. We got embarrassed twins by Winnipeg. Are good. Overall, the sports twins, are pretty good. It's not like you're Philadelphia five years ago. Well, yeah, but we we Vikings have no Super Bowl rings. I mean, the Timberwolves have no titles. We barely squeak into the playoffs. Wild have no nothing. Twins have two World Series, eighty seven, ninety one. So I mean, it's not you're a serious. It's not great. You watch all the sports. Yeah, Brian, we can't just all sit around and watch figure skating like you do. You know what I mean? People I, like want to watch sports, sometimes like sports. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. It's yeah. true drama. Yeah, we can't just sit there in our living room. If you could be a pro athlete triple in one sow sport, cows. if you could be a pro athlete in one sport, what would it be? I always have this debate. Would you rather be a star, a uh, star quarterback, a star center fielder, or a star uh, power forward? Oh, power forward all day. Less injury, why? <clears throat> guaranteed money. So is baseball, but guaranteed money and no injuries. And <clears throat> the thing is, basketball, people see your face. When you're a football player, unless you're like a <clears throat> Odell Beckham Jr. or Tom Brady, you have a helmet on, so you're not that famous. All right, Coach, let me, let me make it more specific. Would you like rather be? Would you rather about, be? I like that Brennan's thinking about the fame, and most people would be thinking about like the game, the play. Right. Well, that comes rather, all, of rather, them, all of them. But what would great. you rather play? Well, let me not, uh, let me ask baseball. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Brian. You you won't know these names, but would you rather be Tom Brady, Derek Jeter, or LeBron James? Derek, yeah, shit Mr. just got Mr. real. Baseball. Yeah, it did. Mr. Brian's baseball. like, what? <laughs> Who are those people? That's not a good impression of me. Oh my god, do they sell hot dogs? <laughs> That's a Jazz hands. That's a shit jazz hands. I've never done that. Jazz. I don't. That's not me. My beard is great. <laughs> that's what you do. 
That's a, that's a tough argument, though, when you say it like I that. I know. Say it more specific. Probably LeBron, though, right? Not yeah. Brady. Had, dude, those are all pretty Either way, money you're, lives. You're yeah, it's a win-win. But the amount of training, like physical training that goes into being a basketball player. Keep talking, and Brian. And for that matter, maybe even a football player. But baseball seems to be a little bit more. No, ba- baseball sucks. A, no, baseball's rough, bro. Down. Baseball's rough, especially with Derek Jeter, because yeah. they make games they play. There's you no travel. offseason. season. Well, travel. And then there's spring ball. Yeah. And then you're traveling nonstop. 160 but it games. is, out of all those, it's guaranteed money. Yeah. Yeah. Basketball and baseball. Also, a longer career, maybe basketball than Tom Brady's football. been playing for that's the ex- that's the exception. That's know. an anomaly. It's an anomaly. Yeah, but plus, we're talking about being plus those the three amount guys. of pain, the head injury, the football's fucking. You're always injured. Your hands. I, I think it'd be basketball for me. It'd be LeBron. That's more fun. Yeah, smaller. Basketball seems more fun. Travel and style. Yes. Less people on the team, so you don't have to deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say, and if you want to, if you want to, you can just kick the ball yeah. into the stands. You know what I mean? Yeah, you kick the just ball. Just kick it. Crack it. Can't believe nobody's ever just done that. Just so unload hockey, and just hockey would be last on my list. Yeah, so hockey would be gnarly. I mean, it's not that. It, don't get me wrong; it's a big sport, but it's not huge in America. Right. I mean, you know, Patrick Kane would be pretty fun to be though. He's he's pretty sweet. I mean, unless you're. Unless you're Crosby and you walked into the office right now, no one's stopping a hockey player in LA. Who gets laid more? Football almost, players, baseball players, or basketball players? I'll I'd say hockey question. out of that answer. Really? More hockey than players basketball? Get, they, yeah, no. hockey players crush it. Yeah, yeah they, they crush do. it. I would they're, say they're, basketball's a close second, though. Oh, yeah. I would say basketball's. I'd long. say basketball has more whores around them than anyone. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Ah, jeez. God, I go to uh, basketball games. That wow, me too. Me, am I a whore? Yeah, am I, I a whore too? Mm, great, brother. You guys are whores. Wow, Unless you're trying to fuck whore? them. And- we were having a great time, and then somebody came up with the W word. Mm. Yeah. All right. We will uh, pray. We'll pray for Brendan. We'll be right back <laughs> with some Bibles. And, uh, Should we yeah. go to current events with Chin? Yeah, let's go with Chin. Chin, what do you got, brother? Chin. All right, let's check this one out. The first one is uh, 13 truck drivers formed a... Hold on one second. I got another one. Boo. That's here, a good here, here, here. one, though. I know. Well, it's there. So cops in Michigan talked to... They shut off the freeway. Someone was going to jump off a bridge, an overpass. So cops closed the freeway, and then radio truck drivers and flagged down truck drivers to go underneath the bridge so the guy couldn't jump off. He could jump in between them. That's the thing. That's what I was saying, too. However... How bad do you want it, bro? <laughs> Yeah, couldn't he and, just go on the side and then yeah. jump off the side? Well, yeah. well, that's not even that's not even that far. That's not a high bridge. No, no, I'm telling you, but it happened though. This yeah. happened to me on the Where was uh, on the 110, uh, Michigan I 696, I think. Nick, this happened to me on the 110. They stopped all traffic. Some dude's about to jump off, and we were sitting there for damn near three hours. And the, the guy was just sitting there. Cops trying to talk to him. I'm in the front. I can see it. And a grandma, about 80 years old, just she's sick of waiting. Goes. Just fucking do it already. Good God. God damn, girl. God. Well, I mean, you know. But I asked the I cop. Don't... I asked the cop. I went, that's not that high. I feel like he's just going to fuck up his legs. He goes, oh, no. They definitely died. <sighs> he went, they definitely don't they fall, died. Don't they also try to jump in to get head hit first. by a car? Oh, no. They, oh, jump, yeah. they jump head first. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. It's not like they jump and do a cannonball. Yeah. They jump head first like it's the goddamn Olympics. Oh. Why would you do, like. Despair. If I was going to do that, I would. San I would just go bridge. You do it big. No, I would skydive. I would like go up and oh, at least no. at least you have, have that moment. Time to think. They say that's the worst part. If you go too high, you have too much time to think. Most people go, "Gosh, you should have done this." Hey, douche. Yeah, but I mean, Jesus. I don't want. To, I don't know. At least at least you're flying. At least you have a minute where you're like, you feel like it's kind of a bad idea. Okay, but I am flying. I'm I don't a flying know. Flying squirrel. Yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of sweet. You're right. Squirrel suit, no parachute. Well, then you're like, yeah. you know what? I want to keep flying, but no, it's the end of the road. Because you're not a flying so squirrel. Right. I don't know. I think I would make a meal out of it. I would do it yeah. big. I'd like jump off of, I'd jump out of a plane or something. Well, you said that. I just said that. <laughs> this one's for you. No, I'm, I'm saying like Southwest though. I'm saying like Southwest. You're going to bring people with you? No, down? we're not going. I'm just going to like close the door after me. See ya. Mm. That's, that does not make sense. You we'll can, be right back <laughs> with more Bibles. <laughs> we'll be right back. This doesn't um, make sense either. I could I could make it happen. This still. doesn't make any sense. See the guy right there? These truckers all Where agreed to oh, do that? Right 
Yeah. They were all on board with poor guy. At least he knows. It but worked. the thing is, the guy knows that people Pitt? care about like, him. Who, they're trying you know to show him saying? love. They, yeah, they they know people care. Somebody cares about him. That's a big. I bet she's going to convert to a That's lot. That's a huge losing. deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, if that guy ended up killing himself, what did I mean? That's what a jerk. What a bummer. I know. Yeah. You guys know what a lot lizard is? My oh. uncle and grandpa were truck drivers. Oh, a lot lizard. Let me educate you guys. A lot yeah. lizard. They have to stop at night. A lot lizard is a gentleman or a young lady who sucks off the drivers. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Yep. <laughs> yep. Where's the application? Lot lizards. Oh, no app required. Just show up. Lot my, lizard? My friend's it's sister. not very flattering. My friend's sister. <laughs> well, it's neither's whore. Lizard makes me think of Brian's skin when I hear that. So it's like a lot lizard. No. I feel like you could You just said I have good skin. That. That's a dick thing to say. Although I have psoriasis, so just don't be... Where'd your socks go, bro? Uh, it's not bad, dude. I know. <laughs> it's not bad at all. What else Where did you, you buy that? Silent throw up. Wait. Um, what is psoriasis? I knew what a is guy. That? I knew a guy. Um, doesn't matter. It means I just have Do a I have that? system. Yep, you will. Today. No, I, I just have myself. sweet you tattoos. <laughs> you, got a, you got the California bear on your... Um... Sure. You got Louis Vuitton logo? Mm-hmm. That's Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Only good choices here. I was going to say, those are drunk tattoos, dude. Yep. Ooh. Hello, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> Nothing drunk about this tattoo. Hey. My friend took me to Lionel Richie. Let me see. So I got, hello, Ryan. <laughs> My buddy Ryan. Yeah. That was from a cruise ship. Those are the worst tattoos, Nick. <laughs> They're pretty great. You just have, one says Pogue. Pretty hilarious. BT2. It says Rogue. <laughs> yeah. And then what is that? And it said Pogue. Dog family. Familia? That's is- Swedish. It means today uh, forward. This one I got on a cruise ship with um, Chris Kirkpatrick from NSYNC. And it says, best trip ever, part two. Oh. Oh. And that's half of a heart, and then he has the other half. <laughs> guys- is that real? That's real. Did you wow. date? No, his wife was like, what the fuck is happening right now? We're like, hey, tattoo, a cruise ship. She was like, oh my God. That's fantastic. What is happening? Which one is that from NSYNC? He's a dude with the braids. Pull him up, Chris he'd, he'd, Kirkpatrick. He's the dude who bangs Nick behind his wife's back. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Fuck off, Nick. Oh, no, Nick is crying shit. That's hey, why did I give you nothing? Not- I don't know. Yeah, just, what is uh, wrong with look you? Look at those. Oh, he was so oh, you, oh, wow, yeah. Back then. That's your boy. Wait, I wonder if there's a... G- Google Nick Swartzen and Chris Kirkpatrick and see if... That's your boy? Yeah, it's my fucking homeboy, dude. Yeah, he's like, oh, You guys have matching Nick, tattoos. Dude, my wife's not looking. Oh, what's no, he, what's he do today? Uh, he's producing music and stuff. He's killing it. Age tends to scroll, um, scroll up. It's got to be there. This picture of me and Chris. Oh, we'll powerful pray. braids, uh, man. No. There's Nick. Braid game strong. There is that it? <laughs> it's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there you guys go. Yeah, those are there real is. beards, Brian. Come on, those Nick. Are real beards. But look at him, huh? Kissy, kissy, huh? Real beards for men who like men. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. Now his wife was like, "What? Seriously, what's happening?" We boarded the boat, and was the guy's like, like, I'll give you a free tattoo. I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting a tattoo on a cruise ship. After 78 sea breezes later. <laughs> couldn't think of a better idea. Good tattoos. Here's my naked, here's my married dick. Um, what else you got, Chin? Nick, oh. Yeah. Were you saying me? No, I was going to tell a story, but I'm bored with it already. What? Go ahead. I, my friend has a sister who uh, has a sex like thing. She's just crazy. Like sex they, were at a, they were at a truck stop. She went to get some stuff and go to the bathroom. Her sister looks at her and goes, I'll be right back. Oh, and she's she goes, a lot of And she was, she was, they were stopped there on their way. And there was this cowboy who was a truck driver, a real handsome cowboy. And she goes, what are you doing? And she goes, don't worry about it. I'll be right back. And she went into his truck. Fucked him. Fucked him. And then got out of the truck and then said, see ya. And got back in the car. And her sister was like, you have to stop doing this. You're fucking crazy. Wow. She's so Jeez. hot. She was hot, too? Oh, yes. Her sister, mm. who I knew. Sounds like she has bit. a good upbringing I like and that. stuff. Sounds yeah. like a solid. Well, I didn't believe her. Then I told, I asked the girl, and she said, oh, yeah. That's what I do. He was a cowboy. He was hot, and I just wanted to do it. Oh, the cowboy was like, what? I know. Sure. I know. What? Yeah. He, he, I'm on my way that. to Oklahoma. She said that. She goes, I, I started. I'm talking in suicide. She, she said Let's that. She goes, this. I started talking to him, and I told him, I, think, I, I, I thought he looked like the Marlboro Man or something, or I liked his mustache or something. And he was like, oh, and then. I just basically told him that I wanted to fuck him in this truck. And he Dude, was like, chicks will crush cowboys. 
I swear to God, I went on a retreat when I was like in church camp. Yeah, we went to Wyoming. We were at like uh, it was like our senior year, and there was like you know uh, the cowboys that worked on the ranch we were staying at, mm-hmm. and we were all trying to get laid, and we just there were zero powers against these cowboys. They were just wrecking balls, <laughs> yeah, just fucking vagina, but just yeah. wrecking going through all the cowboys all the girls don't on mess the around, man. Yeah, cowboys it was are. just a softball. It's hard for to them. compete. They're on horses. They smell like leather. <clears throat> yeah, smell like wind. And wind. <laughs> wind. Yeah. It's just wind crazy. It smells like prairie. Wind yeah. and freedom. What do you what else you got, Jin? Uh so actually Uh oh, look uh, at that. Did yeah, Nick make an oopsie? Right? Oh, yeah. oh, that's me getting my tattoo. I thought I fell oh, I down. I thought he made a poo in his pants. Are you holding his hand? <laughs> no. No, yeah, you are. Oh yeah, yeah. No, oh yeah, are. I'm getting a tattoo on the other arm and then I'm holding his hand. Yeah, and and you're in your Man, I'm married, dude. Yeah, that'll stop those gay rumors. <laughs> Did you make him cover his uh, face when you would have your way with him? Because you don't like looking at his his human face? No, we do a whole role play where he, he plays the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> okay. That's a specific reference. Nobody won't. Carry on, Chin. Uh, quick sports one. Oscar Dojo says that Triple G and Canelo are happening in September. Wow. And they say Canelo's going to wail on him. <laughs> what is he? Didn't Canelo get what suspended? Is he, what is he, my yeah. grandpa <laughs> trying to talk trash? Him. And guess what, everyone? He's going to wail on him. That's going to hype ticket sales. Triple G's fighting uh, May 5th still against some no-name he should just destroy. Yeah, and then Canelo. Listen, in boxing, when guys get busted, no one gives a shit. It's like, yeah, okay. Anyways, when they're going to yeah. fight, spend them for six months. Is that really a slap on the wrist? Not really. See, in a 12-round fight like that, the steroids matter? Yeah, they definitely do, Brian. But, but, oh, steroids? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but of course. Why? Any other stupid fucking Well, questions? no, because tw- it's 12 rounds. It's more cardio, isn't it? More of a, I don't know. Like That's, that's a the long, dumbest a thing I've ever heard. I feel like steroids wouldn't. They help I don't know. You I would your... ask everyone <laughs> from the golden era of boxing. <laughs> they were all doing steroids? No. What is wrong with you? Yeah, can... Come Why on. did you bring him? I don't know. Come on, guys. I'm sorry. How do, do they have security they were... here? <laughs> Move on, Chin. Uh, hopefully that, yeah, I'll, I, I don't give a fuck you got caught with steroids. Okay, so uh, Average Joe Art actually sent me this article. Uh, something about a Golden State killer who's been on the run forever for four decades. Someone was actually finally arrested in this case now. Well, and was then, it Steve Bay on the left? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Steve <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, my God. Uh, that looks identical to the UFC heavyweight he champion. He does his mouth area. The guy but, uh, that looks like Uriah. <laughs> Doesn't look like Uriah Favor. <laughs> a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's all MMA. But, uh, yeah, well, imagine imagine right. getting killed by the guy on the left, by the way. Well, um, well, hey, uh, I, if I had to hey, pick, I'd, I'd rather get returning killed. your paper. I'd rather get killed with the guy in the middle. Who was the uh, nice set of hair on so him. So they, they found him or what? Yeah, so this is crazy. So look at his rap sheet, though. He killed at least twelve people. Oh my god! Raped forty five, at least forty five women, and one hundred twenty home oh, burglaries from the seventies to the eighties. And it was like a cold case; they couldn't figure out who it was. And then, of all people, you know, Patton Oswalt. Yeah, his wife He's was pretty- writing a book about this. Oh. Yeah, Michelle. Yeah. Did you know her? Mac yeah, Miller. super awesome. Awful, so she was awful, writing a book awful. about it, and then she was working with authorities to figure out who it was, and then she named someone as a suspect. That suspect she named was the person that was arrested. Holy That's shit. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, Michelle was brilliant. Rest in peace. She passed, she passed away. away yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she bummer. passed away in her sleep. Awful. There it Poor is. Thing. Joseph Can James you imagine D'Angelo. being this terrible fucking person who's committed all these crimes, but you, you're, you've gotten away with it this long, and at 72, yep. they come knocking, you're like, fuck. Yeah, that would be insanity, like, dude. What a, what? What a weird think? situation, too. How the fuck did they... Uh, so how did he get caught? She just thought he was a suspect, and then they started looking into it? I guess they just found out... Hold on, let's so arrested overnight and two murder charges by police in Sacramento. Um, it started, but also who's staying on the case that long? A lot of people, you know what I mean? Because it's like other shit to do. There was DNA there's evidence. There's so much stuff. That. Families do. Families stay on the oh, case. Oh, the victims. Oh, right. Yeah, they stay Families, on it. Uh, they, they 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 keep they keep somebody. They hire somebody. But um, hold on. How the fuck did they catch him? Uh, there was DNA. Here he is. He covered his trail very well. He said what he didn't account for was DNA. Technology, technology. caught up with him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but who opened uh, it back up? It's always been uh, open, but it's... Jane Carson Sandler. Wait, what? Who said she was raped by the killer in 1976. Used to want who to said she was raped and told Kelly she used to want to punch him in the face? 
Yeah, you, you, the, the, I believe people like this are truly sick. Like, I believe that they have something wrong with their brain. Mm. Oh, you do, Brian? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think they're perfectly healthy. No, 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 no. But, but for closure, for people, for victims, a lot of times they find at least some solace in the idea that this is a sicko that wasn't personal, that he's a crazy person, that, that you know, that this is a disease almost. It's like, in, instead of like, I don't know. I feel like that doesn't help. I, I think it does. I've read enough accounts where people are like, the way I, my gateway into forgiveness was the idea that this guy couldn't help himself. That, that that's you know that he was obviously. So you're saying range. this guy was sick in the head? <laughs> yeah, because I thought he was perfectly normal. I was gonna say you're right. <laughs> I don't I think he was. Just, like, by the way, what? these sketches are terrible. Nice. What does that sketch tell me? Well, that's from the know. 70s, B. Oh, okay. Oh, that's Deadpool. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say <laughs> that's the sad. character Deadpool. Yeah, is that Deadpool? So they found him. Yeah, he's arrested. That's how I met Brian back in the East Village. <laughs> yep. That was the leather swing set. That's, the leather That's what you were wearing. Yep. In recent years, there was renewed interest in the case. This year, a book and series from HLN were released, hoping to shed more light on the case. When the segment of rapes were first being reported, all right. Oh, my God. God, I wonder how they eventually <laughs> caught him, though. Like, yeah. they're just. I'll find it. Walking their dog. Killed a couple just walking their dog. Maybe read the article, huh, Chen? <laughs> he just sent it to me. Because it just happened. Maybe find a new article. <laughs> a new article. All right, what else you got, Chen? Uh, this is, so this is in China. People. And a pregnant woman tripped a little four-year-old boy because oh when my. he ran through the, to this restaurant, like one of those little curtain things hit her bowl and it you know dripped some of her food off her plate. And she's a pregnant woman, too, so I'll show you the video right now. Okay. And she's getting so much hate right now. Let's see it. Here we are. So he's running through to grab chopsticks for his dad on the next building. Why is there 17 people talking? And he runs inside the plastic curtain. <laughs> see that? The plastic hits that girl. Sitting by the door, straight in the face, causing her to... Ooh, nice. Tight move, kid. Kaka. Enjoy those noodles. Biatch. Uh-oh. She here. just stretched out. He comes running out. Holds out her foot. Boom. Oh. She chips a little four-year-old boy. Back of his head. Well, this incident that actually did he get hurt? He did go to the hospital, and uh, was there right. was there were some articles that he had a concussion or something. But what did he land on carpet? Looks like he like fell. He's on carpet. fine, but what but a fine. shithead! What, yeah, what a shitty person! She's getting so much crap, so she actually had to turn herself into the police because all these people watching the video were trying to track her down and kill her. Yeah, and they're giving her a, a bunch of threats. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, Pull her know, baby out. You Just don't get do that it to out. Four year old. And she's well, pregnant no. too, which get is crazy. The baby you out. Get the baby out of there. Get the baby out Let's of get there. Get out and give him to someone else. Get that baby out of and there. Give him to wait, 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 and wait, eat Nick, it. we have to. No, Nick, <laughs> we have to wait till the baby Bro. comes out naturally. What? <laughs> Nick, you're being terrible. That's also racist, just because they're Chinese. What? What is that? What is that? What? It's anything. racist to even say. You're that. racist. What? What did you Why are say? you suggesting no, he that's said racist? That. You go. That's racist. I just, just wanted to pull a baby out to save the baby. You're implying that there's. So he wanted to deep fry me. I never said anything about deep frying it. This is all on camera. Save the baby, live forever. No, oh, no, wow. no, no. That's okay. how Eating my skin looks. So that's you. black no. magic. That's how my skin that's looks. That's black so. magic, bro. Eat babies, dude. Yeah, what All a right. stupid cunt, though. Am I right, fellas? Well, that's an aggressive word, no. but she is a whore. No, she's no. a cunty toilet fuck. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. All right, myself. well, I, I think she probably shouldn't. Have so, what happened to her? Did the cops do anything besides yeah. slap her well, stupid fucking face? They were going to give her, like, I think. 10 days in jail, but since she's pregnant, so aggressive. they couldn't do it. And then the parents of the kid also said, like, please leave her alone. She's getting too much hate. So, so. they give her, like, lashes? Well, yeah, I, mean, I don't it, know what they do in China. For people to be horrified, it's a little dramatic. I mean, it's like... A, I'm not a horrified, cunty, I'm just like, oh, you suck. It's a cunty fuck toilet shit fuck move <laughs> cunt. You know, that's what it is. That's, that's, yeah, so, but that's, it's not, I mean, it's I like horrifying. Say that. It comes off... You use yeah. cunty a lot, but... And, but um. Yeah, I. I uh, it'd be hard not just, to. It just, it'd be hard not sucks. to slap her if she that was your sucks. kid. Yeah, she sucks. I'd have to go back there. Like, those are your noodles. He goosh and then just yeah. run off. Dash goosh. My son. Bah. My son. Burn. Was, burn. My son, burn. my son was literally burn like, like Brian's skin. Nah. My son was three or something. Just turned three, and he's at the playground. He's playing with his kid, and he pushed a kid. And a woman goes, "He's got. Uh, keep your boy away from me with his mean little eyes. He has mean eyes. Oh, yeah, mean she's not lying eyes. though, is she? <laughs> No, he's I've a, seen him. He looks like the the hamsters with red eyes. Yeah, and he does. He the white he has, hamster with red eyes. He has red, red hamster eyes. He he's has a little Damien eyes. from the Omen. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so he struck her down with uh, telepathy. And uh, oh my god! Yep, yep. bless he, his heart. He gave her gangrene. He's doing uh, better on, though on all her limbs. So they had. To, That's now, great. So what did you say to the lady? She's now a stump. 
Did you double leg her? It was so mean that she was so mean to him. And I was, uh, my wife started to cry. And then I, I just, said, wife, <laughs> she started crying. My wife cried. It was her baby, you know. And, uh, I and can't I believe said, Amanda didn't I looked me. at her. No, I looked at her. I think I remember I said, I looked at her and I went, You are a lovely lady. <laughs> I go, he does have mean eyes, and you are a lovely lady. That's all you said? Yeah. She goes, I don't need your sarcasm. I go, it's not sarcasm. You're lovely. Wow, you let off easy. I didn't know what to say. You know, that's my nice. son was right there. That's nice of you, Brian. You mean little eyes. You have a like, good heart. I do. What no, but then I followed children? her home, and I slew her family. Oh, are my you the Golden State God. Killer? Yes. You're the Golden State Killer after yep. all these years? Yep. You're the Golden Shower Killer? <laughs> no, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, if they got DNA... In 30 years, what are they going to have besides DNA? Are they going to be able to tap into your brain and, and get a map of your brain? Dude, you know what they're going to have, which is horrifying, is your uh, old headshots. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, it's not that burn. much of a burn. It's not that much of a burn. Burn. It's not, <laughs> it's not that much of a burn. Stop covering them. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not that big of a burn. It's not that bad. Oh, that's so obnoxious. <sighs> All right. That was... All right. Whew. You got me a little bit. You didn't get me a lot. Uh, you are going to You're gonna have to go to the hospital. No, you, I'm not. You can't recover from no, that. I guess I can. <laughs> you saw Brian's old headshots. Oh, what a salty little boy. What? Yes. Salty. Delicious. What? Yeah. Delicious. Man, you're being perverse. Oh, it was great, man. You had those overall shorts, nothing else. I don't it. remember that. Yeah, you oh. do. The lollipop. Lollipop, the lollipop. Lollipop. Do lollipop. <laughs> you put chin? Jesus, chin, help us. Get me out of here. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> a teenager, Next. A teenager in Sarasota, Florida. He did, you know those prom proposals where you, you do something extravagant to ask someone out on a for the prom. Yeah. Right. He did it to his girlfriend. He tried to make a joke out of it, but the joke was pretty bad. Oh my gosh. What is <laughs> wrong with people? people? He said, if Sucking, I was yeah. black, I'd be picking cotton, but I'm white, so I'm picking you. You gotta know that's that that's, you terrible. gotta know that's what's, in this day and age, Sarasota, what he's also Florida. A senior. It's in Florida? Florida. Well, it doesn't matter where it's at, but I mean, it does. Man. You gotta read your, you gotta know. <laughs> it does. Florida, once again, <laughs> chalking another one up. There's a lot of shit that goes on in Florida. It's so random. Gay, gay guys who get eaten by gators. Fuck that gator. Kids get the eaten angels, by gators. The angels are always like, what? All right. Yep. My last tour, I had to go on social media, and I was like, hey, everybody, like, chill out. Because my Florida show, I was in Orlando, and it was at a performance arts center where they had, like, The Lion King and, like, all these, mm -hmm. like, wicked, all these musicals. And then they had my show. So this was all these, like, tornadoes coming in. All these crazy people. And, uh, you know, I love my fans in Orlando. You're amazing. <laughs> but uh, there, people were vomiting in the seats. Uh, one guy passed out in the bathroom, vomited all over the place. Then there was a brawl in the balcony with two chicks. We had to stop the show. It was just yeah, there's, complete There Florida. are parts of there. I, I, my experience in Florida, it's funny you say yeah. that. The, the only times I've had major fights break out and been threatened has been in Florida. I had a great yeah. time in Florida. Yeah. I awesome. love it. Florida is amazing. You know, May uh, 10th through the 12th. Crunkest crowd? <laughs> Calgary. Oh, the Canadian fuck yeah. Florida. What? Canada, hey, some, some of the best crowds. Some guy got escorted out, and they stole my shirt. Yep, some of the best crowds in the world, uh, Canada. Well, wear that shirt, because nobody will steal it. Unless you know oh, fashion. Yes. Am I right, Oh, Nick? no, you burned them. No, no dude, I got let it back, me get bro. in there. Got it back. You got it back. You got it back. You know who's not going to get something back? Elton John. He'll never get yeah. the shirt back. <laughs> We'll never get Another that shirt burn. back. We'll be right back fist, with more Bibles. Fist, fist me. <laughs> what else you got, Chin? Uh, pray that for kid's count. a fuck. Are they not letting him go to prom? And it, let Don't me let him go to prom. What a more Was his date black or no? No. All right. Oh, my God. If that chick went with him after that sign, that's a tough creepy. Joke. It's a tough joke. It's a terrible joke. Yeah. It's not even really a joke. It's a it? clumsy joke. Yeah, but you're also... It's a, no, it's a bad joke. You know what? You're right. It's, it's not really inappropriate. It's not even a joke. It's more mean-spirited. Yeah, it's just racism. But what happens if... Is it, you gotta know what your crowd though. You gotta know your crowd. What what happens if his girl's like super racist? And she's well, hot. Then, the only time it's acceptable to bang a racist is if she's super hot. Everyone knows that. That's science. And yeah. And then you put up with whatever. I said that's these three black dudes I was talking to, who are actors who will go remain nameless. And we were hanging out and looking at girls, and he goes, "This girl walks by." He goes, "God damn it!" And I go, "That's ridiculous." And then I go, "No." Hear me out. If she was a racist, as in she went to Klan rallies, 
you'd hit it a couple of times. And they all go, I'd have to. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take one for the team there. Yeah. What else you got, Chin? A uh, quick update on that killer. Okay. So it says D'Angelo, which is the killer's name, was arrested after police matched discarded DNA evidence from his Sacramento area home with genetic evidence from the crimes. What, what is you're... genetic? So off her, their bodies in something. We right? have to get. Well, let's, let's do one more. Let's do one more. And then right. We got to let Nick roll. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, actually. And okay. I said Nick roll, not Nick Kroll. Right. <laughs> yeah. You didn't say Rick roll. No. Right. Rick Roll. Brian, I don't know what that is. Brian, you should text your friends. During so here's, the no, here's, the, here's the story about the girl who died in the plane crash. Yeah. I'm going to end with this. So she worked for a French <laughs> events planner. She had serious issues about flying, especially since she was doing the JFK Paris. The, the oh, cool. Don't care. Thing. She was seeing a therapist about it specifically. We already know this. Um, very cute. Doesn't matter. Um, Not so, right now. And, her, and so this is from her sister. She, said, she, she called her brother and told him she was having anxiety issues about the flight since she had a nightmare about it. Of course, he oh, told her not to worry. Oh, this is the plot of Final Destination, too. Yep. I'm, I'm trying to be respectful. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not. As you know, the plane blew up and half the plane was still flying through the air with passengers strapped in it since it was the start of the flight. They were looking out at the stars and then watching as there was no front of the plane and just impending don't doom. <laughs> what is happening right now? Right, right in the Atlantic. Her white and the worst nightmare being realized. Uh, that that was that's the story. That was is this my test. outro? Yeah, I'm that's sorry. Outro, I'm sorry. Uh, so there's no new information. Well, the, yeah, okay, but isn't that fucked up that the plane breaks in half and you're? Yeah, we've already gone over anyway, it. Right? I, hope, I hope she went very quickly. I'm sorry about that. I hope you break in half. All right, I feel bad. I, I, she, I People are gonna be her. breaking in half from laughter at your new tour. Yes, they oh, are. Yeah, NickSwartzen.net for tickets. Yep, it's gonna be a blast. And Nick is gonna come and open for me, and Brendan's gonna open for me, um, July 20th at Talia Hall. Nick's gonna do five minutes, and I'm uh, do a smooth hour. You're gonna do Oof. a tight hour. And then I'm going to do my hour. We're going to shoot that tally hall. Get your tickets now. Five and minutes is a lot. That's a in ton Chicago. of time. That's and then, Nick, I'm in your hood next week. I'm at uh, House of Comedy, Minnesota, Mall of America. Are you really? When? Next week? Next week. May 5th and 6th. Oh, nice. Go see Brendan. All right. Might be May 4th, 5th, and 6th. Either way, I'm there next Support in Minnesota for me. Yeah, I'm in, Minnesota. I'm in, uh, I'm Don't in, uh, support Brian. If I'm he in comes. No. I'm in Denver this weekend, and then I'm in... Colusa Casino, May 5th. And Ooh. Nick is also opening for me there. What? No, oh, wow. No. You're spreading rumors, bro. And I'm in West Nyack the following weekend. I'm in every city. Ever. Ever built. Thanks for coming on, Nick. We wanted you on here for a while, sir. I love you guys. We did it. We, we did it. Eat, pray, love. It's three words. A book Eat, and a movie. Pray, Eat, pray, love. This and is then- the Vine Kid. We're out.